Seriously, it's been five years since you broke up with Mark. What you need is some sex. Ding dong. I'm like the new kid on the block. Jack is a very successful man who has created an online dating service. So you have no idea which of us is the father? Mark Darcy's like quintessential English, and then Jack is the quintessential American. And, and in that is two opposing ideas and philosophies that challenge each one. For better or worse, fate has brought us together. It brings new energy and a new dynamic to the film. Brought you a nice tea. Thank you. I brought you a super juice. Oh. Let me carry that for you. Thank you. <laughs> Can I carry your phone? Action. A little further along in life. She's grown up a little bit. She's uh, excelled in her professional career. She has upgraded. She has her flat and she owns it now and she is on the property ladder in London. She might have tempered her lifestyle just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Rebuilding the flat and trying to work out what she would have done and how she would have improved it and what she could afford and which furniture she would have. The flat that Bridget lives in, it really is the centre of her life and, and a lot of the big moments in the film happen in that space. Not only had Bridget changed during these 10 years, but also the uh, city she lived in has changed. A bit like uh, Woody Allen feels about Manhattan, uh, we feel about London. We think it's very romantic, very picturesque, and culturally brimming over on every level. And the Bridget stories absolutely sit here in London. I'm glad that that, that was a decision that they'd made. I love going back. It's like a homecoming every time. Hi, Vale here. Now, if you are like me and you like a good laugh, here are the top 10 comedy movies of all time according to Rotten Tomatoes. Coming in at number 10 is Stanley Kubrick's Doctor Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Save the Bomb from 1964. At number 9 is Disney's Up and number 8 is The Philadelphia Story starring Audrey Hepburn, James Stewart and Cary Grant. Toy Story 2 is at number 7, and its sequel, Toy Story 3, is at number 6. A Hard Day's Night, starring The Beatles, is at number 5, while Gene Kelly's Singing in the Rain is at number 4. Number 3 is Frank Capra's It Happened One Night, and number 2 is Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. And topping off the list at number 1 is, drumroll please, Betty Davis's All About Eve. Okay, so do you agree with this list? My favorite comedies are the Monty Python movies. What about you? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe to our channel for all the latest trailer releases.